So today we're going to talk about primary sources, and we're going to talk about primary sources um, through the bottom aspect. For homework, you guys read two primary sources, right? Sure. Right. Well, one of them was anonymous. Yes, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, First, let's review what a primary source is. Claude, can you tell me what they are? Sure. Um, from my reading, last time I found out that primary sources are first-hand documents. Good. Good. And Elise, who writes primary sources? Um, well, a lot of people. I think it just depends on people's their experience with the, the primary action, right? Okay, good. And Danny, what do these primary sources tell us? Oh, they tell us a first-person account of exactly the event that we're trying to study. Right. So primary sources are very helpful when we're trying to do some research. But at the same time, primary sources have a lot of problems. Clark, can you think of some of the problems? Sure. Well, um, historically speaking, if they come from a long time ago, mm -hmm. then they might have been lost or damaged. Mm -hmm. um, also, they since they come from the first person's perspective, they mm -hmm. could be a little biased. Right. Good. Danny, what if we don't know who wrote the article, who wrote the source? That's, that's probably we run into. That's a tough one. I mean, I guess you don't know either if it's quite just you know, if he does have a bias, I mean, it's hard to trust that primary source. Very good. It's a lot of trust. It's a lot of validity. It's a lot of seeing who's saying the right things. So in the case of Boston Massacre, you guys read these two pieces. You read the one about uh, from Captain Thomas Preston, who was an officer with the British Army, and then you read about an office source. And Captain Thomas Preston is clearly saying, hey, I didn't do it, we didn't fire the first shot, we did it, we're not the ones in trouble, and the anonymous source is saying, yes, you guys did, right? So in this case, who would you believe? Which of these sources do you guys think is most accurate, which is most valid? I know. Yeah, that was good. Which, well, who do you know said what? How would you trust? When, if I tell you a secret, are you going to trust it? If I told you, hey, Bob told me this, are we going to say, hey, somebody told me this? Which one do you trust more, somebody or Bob? It depends well, on if Bob's trustworthy. I feel like anonymous is hard because, like, I guess I'm willing to trust that it, like somebody said it, and I kind of feel bad because I feel like that voice was silenced. Also, that Captain Thomas Preston is obviously a representative of the armed forces, so mm -hmm. he wouldn't want to take um, credit mm -hmm. for it. Right. But also, but also, Captain Chris was the first person shot. It wouldn't surprise me though, Chris Addix was the one who was anonymous. You know, we don't know who was anonymous. But Crispin, Crispin, <laughs> well, because Cap, Captain Preston is obviously a biased source. Right. So the, maybe the anonymous is better to trust. But couldn't the anonymous source also be a biased source? What if the anonymous source came from somebody on the other side, somebody that was being attacked? Then they're Preston. equally biased. So in that case, who do you trust? How are we going to actually know for sure when we look back in history who shot the first who shot the first shot? Maybe we should just look at both of them, okay, and try to learn from the two statements and look at both sides. That's a great idea. So, what commonalities are there? What things did you see in common? Let's try to piece these pictures together. Somebody fired a shot. Okay. What happened before that? Then? A black man was shot. Before that, uh, there was a tip. Okay. What kind of tip? Well, um, as you can see in the beginning of the Captain Thomas Preston one, mm -hmm. um, the soldiers had attacked the people with their bayonets, and, um, but there was no provocation given to Captain Preston of his party. Good. Good. So that's what Thomas Preston is saying. Though. So we don't know if whether or not these soldiers had actually did attack that. We don't know if they hit them that mistake, if they um, insulted them. We don't know what happened for sure. That's the problem with primary sources. It's very difficult to judge. It's very difficult to get that full picture.